Knock, knock, Jehovah Witnesses. I stand as a born-again Bible-believing Christian from the King James Bible, and I'm here to proclaim that Jesus Christ is God, and God is Jesus Christ, and I will quote from the Scriptures to prove to you so. It says in John 1.1, 1, 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1.14, The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, Full grace, truth, glory, the glory as of the begotten of the Father. Full grace and truth. The one that you guys don't like is John 10.30. I and the Father are one. The Bible proclaims simple enough, in simple English, that Jesus Christ is God. God is Jesus Christ. Your foundation is built upon lies on how many times that your prophet has proclaimed that Jesus Christ was supposed to come and never did. 144,000 and how many do you have right now all over the world? You have more than 144,000. John 20, 28, Thomas answered him to him, speaking to Jesus. Thomas said, My Lord and my God. How more simple can you get it? My Lord, my God. You go to people's doors and tell them lies, I will come to your door and speak to you the truth. Sanctify them through thy word, thy word is true. You have the new but you believe in the boom of the world. You're waiting for the end of the world, but you have a Bible that says new world. People, don't you realize you are in a lie? You are in false prophets, which the Bible speaks in the end times. You are to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, Acts 16.31. We go on, there's more scriptures. In Hebrews 1.8, but unto the Son, he saith, Thy throne, O God. Oh, look at that. The Holy Spirit calls Jesus Christ God upon the throne forever and ever in the scepter of his righteousness, the scepter of thy kingdom. Titus 2.13, which is my, my life verse. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearance of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, putting Jesus Christ equal with God, and God equal with Jesus Christ. I know these words are being heard. I know you cannot put these words away, for the words enter into the heart. God says His word will go out, and it will do whatsoever He pleases. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. You bring me the awake, I bring you the Bible. We read on. Colossians 1, 16, speaking about Jesus Christ, for by Him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by Him, and you run back to Genesis 
Revelation 1 8, Jesus Christ speaking, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. You cannot be Jehovah Witnesses without Jesus Christ. You only got half the ingredients. When you pull the cake out of the oven, it'll be half baked, it'll be half done, it'll be raw, it won't be delicious. You gotta have the bread of life, you gotta have the water of life, which you are. Because you cannot be saved without saying Jesus Christ is not God. That, to say that Jesus Christ is God is the foundation of salvation. Because the Bible says in Second John, and John writes to us, if you proclaim that Jesus Christ is not God, you are likened to the Antichrist. Open your ears. I know you've been trained by your masters not to hear us preach. But you come to our doors and we're supposed to hear you. I come to your door to proclaim. You cannot be saved, you cannot be of Jehovah without their knowledge that Jesus Christ is God. The virgin birth proves his lordship, his creatorship of all the heavens and the earth. First John 5.20, we know that the Son of God is come and has given us understanding that we know him that is true. And we are in Him, that is true, even in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Open your Bible and read the English the Bible says. Don't listen to man. Open your Bible. Get a King James Bible. The new world. The Bible says that we don't look for a new world, we look for New Jerusalem. I ain't waiting for the Antichrist, I ain't waiting for the world's destruction, I'm waiting for the blessed hope and the great come of our great God and Savior, Jesus, who is God. Again, how can you base a religion upon lies? John 8:44 says that Satan is the liar. Satan is the murderer. Satan is the lustful. He is not only a lie, he is the liar. And he is the foundation of religion. Which is lies. The Bible proclaims, what must I do to be saved? And it does not say sell magazines. It doesn't say go door to door. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. You are not doing God's will if you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. You are doing man's will. You are in the relationship of man which is in the relationship of Satan. Second Corinthians 4, 4, in whom the God, small g, of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. You have Satan blinding you people from the gospel. The gospel is that Christ died for our sins. He was buried, and he arose again on the third day. Which of your prophets are not in the graves today? Of all the prophets of the world, all the false prophets, not a one. Not one. But only Jesus Christ, who is God, and Christ is 
not anything made that is made. That is speaking as Jesus Christ as the Creator. Again, Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God. John 1-3 says that God was Jesus. In the beginning, I would not be wrong to say, in the beginning, Jesus Christ created all things, heaven and earth. Using scripture with scripture. Using the Bible. The King James 1611 Bible. Isaiah 44, 24. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer. He that formed things, excuse me, he that, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord, which maketh all things, and stretches forth the heavens alone that spread aboard the earth by myself. Isaiah 7, 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. And when you go back to Matthew, you read that is interpreted God with us. The New and the Old Testament proclaims that Jesus is God. Plain and simple, I'm reading to you everyday English. And to deny the fact is to be lying, a liar, being falsehood, and damnation. For John chapter 3 says, man is in condemnation unless he believes on the Son. He believes on God for his soul. First Timothy 2, 5, for there is one God. And one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Matthew 28, 9. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by his feet and worshipped him. I understand in your meetings you get up with the Wake magazine and you read it and you make sure that everybody read the Wake magazine. That means you are worshiping a man that wrote that magazine. You're not worshiping God. You're to open up a Bible and get Bible preaching from the Bible and understand the simple English that God has given to you in the Bible to proclaim again and again and again. And again, I can't say it enough that Jesus is God and God is Jesus because you have not understood. You have believed the religion of man and Satan of a lie. We're not looking for a kingdom. We're looking for the Savior. By professing to be a kingdom, you have substituted yourselves for the people of God called the Jews. I look at you all, I don't see you guys looking at anything like a Jew. The nation of Israel, the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are those that are of God, loved by God, the apple of God's eyes. You people are Gentiles. You, us, me, because I'm a Gentile, we're dead, dogs, heathen, in the Old Testament, only by the grace that Israel has given up and not proclaimed their Messiah, have we been led in through Jesus Christ to believe on Him. But God has not set away Israel. He will gather them up again. He will forgive their sins. He will forgive their iniquities. And He will set up the kingdom with them in a thousand year reign of the millennium of the Lord Jesus Christ in Israel, in Jerusalem, where Christ's throne will be. That is the kingdom. The kingdom of Jesus Christ and the Jews, not you Gentiles. Those that get saved during the church age gets New Jerusalem, the Bible proclaims. In Revelation 20, Revelation 21, the Jews will get the earth. The Jews have been promised the earth since Genesis 12 with Abraham. When God proclaimed to Abraham, I'll give you all that land, and those that curse you I will curse, and those that, will bless, those that bless you I will bless. And you are robbing Israel of their glory. 
you are stealing from their divine right by God. You have proclaimed what Israel's promises are to Israel, and that is false doctrine, false teaching. I stand as a Jehovah Witness more than you do, because I have proclaimed the full Jehovah, God and Jesus Christ, and the gospel that we're told to go out and proclaim, and that gospel is not magazines, that gospel is that Christ died for your sins, according to scripture, and that they buried him, and on the third day he arose again. He said, preacher, you're repeating yourself. I have to repeat myself. You didn't hear it the first time. When you get the first message of the gospel and Christ is God and God is Christ, they will move on. I stand in amazement of how blind man will be. But Jesus already said, Broad is the way that leads in destruction in many, and many, I see many, continue in their ways, and few that will go into the straight gates. But if I can put on your hearts at least one of you the scriptures, if I can found upon your heart and your soul, and put doubt in where you stand today, and put your confidence in Jesus Christ and I have succeeded. And may the Holy Spirit be, be grown into your heart and that seed will develop that you will walk away from the lies and turn to the truth. As you build more and more land and settle more and more man, land, that means more and more damnation of souls. And my job as a prophet from God, as a witness of God, is to tell all about Jesus and the gospel, and that they may turn to them as there are serpents out there who will turn them away from the living way, the living truth. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. That's plain and simple. I tell you, this is the second place I've been for the Jehovah Witnesses, and you guys have been trained well. But your ears are open. He that has ears, let him hear, Jesus said. My prayer is that the words I have spoken, I've got more, and there's more days, Lord willing. I've got six pages of scripture here to proclaim that Jesus Christ is God and God is Jesus Christ. As much as you guys go knocking on doors, I'll come knocking on your heart with the gospel. Until the Lord changes my commission, brethren, I love your souls. I am told to go eat all the world and preach the gospel. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not selling nothing. I'm not gaining nothing. I'm just proclaiming what Christ has told me to do. And go all the world and preach the gospel. Isaiah 43.11 I, even I, am God, and beside me, there is no Savior. Well, who is the Savior of the body? Who is the Savior of the soul? Jesus Christ. And if God says, I am the Savior, and there's no, no Savior beside me, then God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. It's plain and simple. Lord willing, we'll meet again. I'll go with the rest of the scriptures. But may the Holy Spirit work upon at least one of your hearts. I don't come here to be mean. I don't be, come here to be cruel. I come here with just the gospel. My prayer, my desire is that you will turn away from man and turn to God. 
turn to Jesus for salvation and to seek the Word of God.